What's up everybody? So this is video number two. Uh, I wasn't going to do them so quickly, but I want to get a couple subjects out of the way and I think this one I can speak well on. So one question that was asked or at least brought up a couple times is what's a good size or what's the size that I can start breeding my female boas, my male boas? And I have a couple snakes here that I'm going to use for examples. Um, I'm not really sure about age-wise. I think these guys are probably about five years old at this point. So this is a male. He is hypo, het, anery, het albino. And this is a female. She's an albino kraken, uh, het anery. So both of these are breedable boas. This one is a little skinny at this point. She laid for me last year. And I wouldn't really breed her this year unless I can get some more uh, weight on her. But I think both of these are pretty much as small as you would want to go. So uh, again, age is a consideration. If you do breed a boa and you are going to get them to breed as quick as possible, you really can't safely grow a boa to that size in less than three years. So could they breed at two and a half? Possibly. I wouldn't recommend it. They're still young. They're their whole reproductive system is, is young, it's not really fully developed, and I really think that you should wait, um, even if the boa is of the right size. I couldn't tell you how much these snakes weigh. I don't weigh my snakes. I really just kind of look at them and see if they're ready. So I think both of these are kind of, this as you can see, he's maybe about four and a half, five feet or so. Um, he's a good sized male. You don't want to overfeed your males or they're going to be lazy breeders. Females on the other hand, uh, you I like to feed them a little bit more coming into the breeding season in case they go off feed. I don't want them getting too skinny. This girl actually got pretty skinny while she had her babies. So she's skinny this year. I'm probably going to give her the year off. I don't want to risk doing a boa that's too small, too skinny. She's still not bad, but I can see kind of her ribs as she moves around. It's possible she'll put on some weight, but I don't want to chance it. She's a, she's a nice snake and uh, I don't want to risk her dying with some babies in her. So those are the complications that you can have. I mean, they can... They can do anything from slug out because they're not ready, or you can kill the nice snake that you have that you've been raising for three, four years because you just rushed it. If you gave them another season, they'd give you a nice litter of baby boas, but instead you decided to rush it and you end up with a dead snake. When breeding boas, there's all kinds of stuff that can happen. Um, slug out, they give you, they could, they could die during ovulation. These are just things that happen, the facts of breeding snakes in general. So you always want to consider that before you do breed. I wouldn't just rush into breeding by any means and um, really look out for the interests and the health of the animals before you do something like that. So again, that's just kind of a quick breeding size for boas. I'm not really going to get into breeding them yet, but those are going to be in some upcoming videos. We'll probably do some videos on genetics. Just keep it simple, basic genetics. Then I might have Kevin McCurley from Nerd come in and talk on advanced genetics things that I really can't speak on. I'll cover the simple stuff and we'll let him cover all the hard stuff. So this is what we have. Keep dropping comments. I appreciate you guys following and uh, we'll keep making these videos. Thanks again.